Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am sharing my 1920s inspired book inspired by uh, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. If you haven't checked those out, you should. Um, my look is more, uh, not as accurate to the 20s as it probably should be, but it's more inspired than anything. If you wanted a more accurate look, um, this is more of what they would have worn. It was very light eyeshadows, something that matched their eyes. Um, very light mascara, a little bit of cheek, and maybe even a little bit of lip color, but not a ton. Um, bobs were a big thing, uh, pin curls were a big thing, and so were finger waves. I also have another video up of me doing finger waves. If you want to see that, it will be up here to check it out. Um, yeah, so let's get on to today's look. Okay, we're going to start by applying my Essence Color Corrector. I am still kind of blending out that accidental sunburn, and so I just didn't want my nose to be more red than the rest of my face. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I decided to keep them more thin and rounded like the 1920s. I didn't want them to be overly full. Um, nor can I make them super, super thin, so I followed what I had and then just tried to keep that rounded, basically thin look. Okay, now I am applying my eyeshadow primer by Essence. And, uh, sorry for the camera angle on this one, it went a little weird. Uh, and I just blend that into my eyelid. It really helps my eyeshadow stay on. Now I'm applying my Youngblood eyeshadow in the color of Moonstone, which is a white shimmery color. I like this eyeshadow because it's heavily pigmented, so I can continue to add and make it brighter and brighter if I want to. So I'm going to add that to the corner of my eyes, up into a little bit onto my eyelid, and then also underneath my eyebrow. Next I'm going in again with my Youngblood eyeshadow in the color of Onyx. This one is very intimidating to me at times because it's very dark. So I decided to um, layer it up a little bit to create that really deep, smoky eye that I was looking for. I used my finger to blend and smooth as I needed and also a clean brush to blend those edges. And then I go back and add just a little bit more just to the corner to add that depth. So this is on the lid and then through the crease and then back into add a little depth and then I also added a little bit underneath my eye as well. So again with the other eye, we're going to follow the crease. And like the first eye, go ahead and building it up as you go. Next I'm adding my Wet n Wild Gold Glitter Eyeshadow and I basically just used my finger for this because I wasn't sure how it would work with my brush. So I just dabbed my finger in the shadow and then dabbed the gold onto my eyelids. Um, for this I went a little extreme so I, I went crazy and added lots. And I really like how it turned out. Next we're going in with my Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner and I just tap into my eyelid and then winged on the side for a more dramatic effect. I also added a little bit of the eyeliner underneath my eye as well just to continue that line. Oops. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to my, er, my mascara. I use the Essence False Lash Mascara, and I give these a nice good coat on my top and bottom lashes, and then add my Kiss False Lashes in the style Vamp. And I actually cut these in half, and I just apply them to my corner of my eyes. So for my cheeks, I'm using my Catherine Cosmetic Co Confidence Palette. For the cheeks, I'm using my Dark Pink Blush, really focusing on the apples of my cheeks because that was where it was very dramatic. Next I'm applying the highlighter from the same palette to just on my cheekbone to add that shimmer and shine. 
And then I also added a little bit of the dark brown eyeshadow from that palette to contour my face. So I applied it underneath my cheek to enhance the hollowness there and then also a little bit on my jawline and of course dancing. Now for lips. So for my lips I use my Lip Sense lip color in the color of Fly Girl and I decided to do the Clara bow so if you need any more information about that you can look it up but it's basically dramatic adding a dramatic bow to the top and then just a little bit on the bottom lip to add a pout look you'll see in a minute. Okay, now for hair. I bought a wig from Arta Wigs in the style of Priscilla, and it is absolutely perfect for the look I was going for. It reminds me exactly of Miss Fisher's haircut. And this wig is fantastic. I would highly recommend any of their wigs. So I'm gonna brush it out just to make it all nice and smooth and where I want it to lay, especially wanting those points to come forward a little bit. And that's my look. Next I'm going to add my headband, my outfit, and I will be ready to go. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my 1920s Miss Franny Fisher inspired look. Um, I hope it has inspired you to create something amazing. If you do, please feel free to send me pictures on either Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them. Uh, you can find me there as at Little Antique Me, just like on here. Keeps it simple. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, uh, I hope you have a great week. May God bless you and keep you this week, and I will see you next time. Bye!